So, Mr. Kelly. Whoa, dude. Mr. Kelly is my father. Name's Machine Gun. Really? Machine Gun Kelly is off the hook these days for things both good and bad. He earned his first number one album on the Billboard 200 chart with his last album, Tickets to My Downfall. He's painting the town red, or pink in his case, with his girl Megan Fox. He almost had a scrap with the Irish MMA fighter Conor McGregor at the MTV Music Video Awards. And as if this wasn't enough already, he punched a fan during his last concert. Hey guys, it's Christine and welcome to another episode of Before and After. And today we're gonna talk about Machine Gun Kelly, his recent transition to punk rock icon, and also drop some interesting juice about him, so don't go anywhere. MGK may have spent the last year beaming over his romance with Megan Fox, but has anyone else noticed another change in his life? The rapper actor has been rocking a full head of hair. You might be surprised to see that this wasn't always the case. One glance at his old pictures, and the difference is quite evident that he's done a little something to his hair. <laughs> Now, experts believe he opted for a procedure known as follicular unit transplantation, or foot. In foot, a surgeon removes a strip of skin from the scalp and grafts it onto the balding area. The procedure takes between four to eight hours and costs anywhere between mm, four to 15,000. Personally, I just assumed he was wearing fake hair. If he'll wear nails like this, I'm not surprised he'd wear a wig either. Kelly's never gone on the record about a surgical hair transplant, but it sure looks like he went under the knife. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that. If it makes him feel and look better, then more power to him. He isn't the first man to do it, and he surely will not be the last. Now, MGK's not your regular rapper. While white rappers are generally associated more with beanies, bleach, and bling than a sense of style, Kelly is cut from a whole different set of clothes altogether. He's not only responsible for the recent high-profile revival of pop punk and rap rock, but also quite known for his creative yet stylish wardrobe. From rocking a blue zipper one piece to a head-to-toe all pink ensemble, or dyeing his hair every color under the sun, this guy's done it all. I guess what sets MGK up apart from others is his willingness to experiment in a deep sense of retro-American fashion. After all, your sense of style comes from your inner self, right? But also, Machine Gun Kelly just doesn't give a flying fuck. Big fit number one. Insert bagpipes here. Thank you. Confidence is one of the most important factors when it comes to style, and looks like MGK has that in spades. MGK may have started his career as a hip hop musician, but for the past year or so, his flavor has sure shifted. He's been swaying back and forth between rap, punk, and rock styles, leaving some critics wondering which genre he's going to commit to. His latest album, Tickets to My Downfall, is pop punk in sound and subject matter, and it appears that the fans love the change, me included, the only time I've willingly listened to his music. The album not only earned him as the first leader on the Billboard 200, but also cemented his fifth top 10 on the tally. So what does the title mean to you? I felt like I had mm -hmm. more friends around me at the worst time in my life personally than I ever had when I was succeeding or having a great time. And I was kind of like, why is everyone here for me crashing and burning. Fresh off the release is his latest single, Paper Cuts, from the upcoming album, Born With Horns, featuring Travis Barker. Kelly again received some flack for switching genres, this time back to rock. In response, he posted this video on TikTok for all the critics. Me drops a rock song. Oh, he doesn't rap anymore. Me drops a rap song. Oh, he doesn't do rock anymore. Shut the f up. God damn, I'm not f***ing dying tomorrow. I just dropped music. Well, Machine Gun, why stick to one when you can do it all? Now, Kelly shares a love-hate relationship when it comes to healthier choices. But thanks to his better half, Megan Fox, things are changing. Whatever Daddy says, are you proud of him? Very proud. He's the most talented boy in the world. In a radio interview with 104.3 The Shark, the rapper dished on his girlfriend's gluten-free and all-organic diet, praising her for her super healthy dietary habits. He said, my menu's like... Shake Shack cheeseburger. However, he confessed that he's trying to get on that wave when it comes to healthier options. Better late than never, right Kelly? For those who are wondering uh, if I even trained, fair enough, because this wasn't the case years ago, but a lot of years of doing a lot of stuff has led me to believe that I gotta keep on living, gotta get stronger. Now, 
MGK turned 31 this year, and staying in shape is more important to him than ever. He admits that he has no desire to just be a muscly version of himself. But since he needs to be in good shape for touring and other projects, he works out five days a week now. Two upper body sessions, two lower body sessions, and one active recovery day. Not much of a recovery if you're living with Megan Fox. He was like, you're gonna be naked tonight. And I was like, whatever you say. When you physically feel good, mentally feel good, we wanna play more, the rapper said, explaining that being fit allows him to perform extended live sets. An extended live sets on Megan, am I right? <laughs> Now, MGK's had a bit of a busy week between fighting with Conor McGregor at the MTV Video Music Awards and the following feud with Corey Taylor. It's not the first time Kelly has attracted controversy with another artist. Back in 2018, Kelly made comments regarding the Lose Yourself rapper's daughter and accused Eminem of having him blacklisted from his radio station. The duo went back and forth, dissing each other via Twitter and their tracks. It's not bad for him. Mm -hmm. He has some good lines in it. MGK also had an infamous back and forth with American rapper G-Eazy. The two traded repeated insults over their respective relationships with musician Halsey. Now, if you ask me, it sounds like someone's f***ing salty because young Gerald's deep inside of Halsey, but that's just my opinion. And adding to his long list of controversies is his latest encounter with a fan. The video shows MGK getting into a physical altercation with a concert goer during his Louder Than Life festival performance in Louisville, Kentucky. While several attendees booed MGK during his performance, it was speculated that the boos at the Hard Rock Festival were due to Machine Gun Kelly's comments about Slipknot's Corey Taylor. Taylor earlier made a jibe at the rapper turned rocker on Cutter's Rockcast, saying, I hate all new rock for the most part. I hate the artist who failed in one genre and decided to go rock, and I think he knows who he is, but that's another story. MGK fired back at Taylor at Riot Fest, telling the crowd, Hey, you wanna know what I'm really happy that I'm not doing? Being 50 years old, 50 years old, wearing a fucking weird mask on a fucking stage. Fucking Looks like Slipknot's fans aren't too thrilled about the comment and decided to take the matter into their own hands. I gotta say, I side with Machine on this one. Why would you want to be 50 wearing some dumb mask when you could be 31 and paint your own tongue black? That's so much cooler, right? So what are your thoughts on MGK's recent transition to punk rock icon, him switching genres, and his string of controversies? In my opinion, the rapper needs to tone things down a notch. And if he doesn't, well, I'm sure Megan Fox has no problem putting him in his place. Do share your views in the comments section below. My name is Christine Sulit, and that wraps it up for this episode of Before and After. Feel free to suggest to us who else we should do, and if you appreciated this video, please hit that like and subscribe button if you haven't already. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, and we will see you in the next video. Bye!